Hi, this is Gail Nettles. Today we're going to go ahead and make a bracelet with simple loops. And these are just loops. They're not wrapped or anything like that. They're just loops on either side of the bead put together with a clasp. It's very easy. It's, got, it's quick. You can put together a bracelet in no time at all. And let's go ahead and get started. Here are the supplies that you're going to need for this particular bracelet. You're going to need some beads. Now I went ahead and I already have some of these looped in, but you'll need enough beads to make your bracelet. You will need a clasp, and right here I just have a simple S clasp. You will need some wire. I am using 20 gauge red brass. Um, you don't want to go any smaller gauge than 20 gauge. Uh, you don't want to go 22 or anything like that with for this particular bracelet because it's not going to be stable enough. You could go to 18 gauge if your beads um, have a big enough hole. So like I said, the beads. Um, a pair of flush cutters, a pair of round nose pliers, and a pair of chain nose pliers. Now you could use a set of flat nose pliers if you like, but I'm just going ahead and using the uh, chain nose because I just happen to like them. I've gone ahead and cut off a piece of wire just because I, I don't like to cut each one individually. I like to go ahead and work off a longer piece just because there's less waste this way. So I've got a piece, doesn't really matter how long, maybe four or five inches would be good. I went ahead and I already made a loop about the size that I wanted. So this is about the size of the loop that I'm going to use to make the bracelet. What I've done is I've gone ahead and put this on my round nose pliers and I've marked, I don't know if you can see it real well, but I marked it with a sharpie marker, just a permanent pen, where I want the loop to be. That way when I go ahead and make all these loops I just make sure to line them up with the mark and I'll have all the loops about the same size. Just a nice little tip. We're going to start out by going ahead and doing a flush cut at the very end of the wire and this is just to make sure that the end is doesn't have any rough edges on it. You want to go ahead and take your um, wire and you see how I've got it lined up now with my um, my sharpie mark. Now one thing that you don't want to do is you've got the wire in between but you also want to judge how far the wire comes up. In other words, you don't want the tip of the wire sticking up above the pliers. You want that wire snug, snuggled down in. So if you run your fingers across the top of it, you should not feel that piece of wire. So go ahead and I'm rolling it away from myself. I'm just going ahead and rolling it until it touches itself. So let's see. Ah, the wire isn't cooperating. So I didn't get it just quite. There we go. Kind of looks like a, uh, a pea or, or part of a lollipop. <laughs> We're going to make it look more like a lollipop by going ahead and centering the wire. So what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and putting the wire back in. And I'm just going ahead and taking it and I'm moving it back. So all I'm doing is I'm moving that wire so it's nice and centered. And if the wire comes that, you know, moves out a little bit, you can go ahead and come back in and squeeze it shut a little bit. But there we go. Nice centered loop. So, let's go ahead and put on the bead. And here comes the interesting part. You need to go ahead and make this next loop um, at least <laughs> just about the same size as this one. Now for this particular uh, loop, I know that it's roughly the size of from my bead <laughs> to the top of my finger. Now you're going to have to experiment a little bit and find out exactly how long is best for you for what size loop that you're using. And my loop is, oh, l roughly two and a half millimeters. But there's about right for me. For the loop that I'm using. So I'm going in and I'm flush cutting and then going ahead and putting my wire 
where it should be and then rolling it around. So I'm rolling it until it meets the wire or meets the bead. So let's see. So it looks like a P again. And you obviously want to go ahead and center this. So what I do is I grab it here and I move the bead back a little bit instead of trying to move the wire. So I move the bead back a little and if I have to do this a few times that's okay. And then I'll go ahead and, and if the wire has come separated I'll go ahead and uh, move it back. But I just do that and that will go ahead and allow the loop to become more centered. There we go. So now we have two loops and they're about the same size and about the same shape. So let's go ahead try that one more time. Once again flush cut the end. Just get in the habit of doing that. I mean it's better to flush cut it one too many times and not flush cut it at all and then regret it. Go ahead put your wire in the in the round nose plier. Loop it around And you, you might notice that I accidentally did it this way and the loop is way bigger. If that happens to you, just go ahead and cut it again. Don't even bother on the first loop. Don't even bother to try it to uh, make it the right size. Just go ahead and try it again and uh, be a little bit more careful about how you're looping it. So doing that, pushing it back, making it look like a popsicle so you're centering the wire then let's go ahead put the bead on and again roughly I know that it's about to the top of my finger for this particular um, loop so I'm cutting it flush cut then I'm going ahead and taking my round nose pliers again, make sure that there's no, no wire sticking out of the top. Roll it down and then hold it. Push the bead back some. Now you want to be careful about this if you're using crystal or something like that or a bead that's really um, fragile. You, you might want to move the wire a bit more instead, but in this particular case I'm just using a Really, it's pretty much probably a, an acrylic bead. So I felt okay about uh, moving it a little bit rougher than I might if I was um, using a crystal. So there we go. We've got two beads and they have their simple loops on the ends. Now let's go ahead and put them on the bracelet. As you can see, I pretty much have the bracelet mostly put together. I went ahead and made the, the simple loops for each one of these and then attached them. So let's go ahead and attach these last two. So what I do is this is just like opening a jump ring. So remember in a jump ring, you don't want to open it like this. You want to open it like this. And that's just so it doesn't get distorted. So I'm taking this one that's on the uh, on the bracelet and I'm flipping it over to the side putting on and I and I don't get you know over excited about how you know I, I don't want to put it pull it a whole bunch I just want to pull it enough so that I can get this wire on so I've got it on the loop go ahead and close it again and there we go so let's do it again on the other side. Open the loop. You can see it's, uh, it's open a little bit. It's not too terribly bad. Go ahead, thread on the other bead. Close the loop. And there you go. And you just do that for all the beads in your bracelet. Once you've got all the beads on the bracelet, what you want to do is to go ahead and put on the clasp. I have a simple S clasp and I'll probably put together a tutorial on how to make this. 
but what we'll want to do is go ahead and slip one end of the clasp into one of the beads or one of the loops at the end then go ahead and to uh, put it all together you slip it through the other one you can tighten up this uh, the loop a little bit by you know squishing it together a bit but that's it that's all that's needed for this simple loop bracelet now I had a couple of beads left over so as you can see you don't have to make just bracelets here's a neat little pair of earrings that I put together and I went ahead and made the earring findings for this I'll probably put together a tutorial on that as well but the reason I did that is because I wanted to bring out the pink color in here with the beads so but again all you have to do is open the loop for the um, earring finding put to put in the beads and you've got a pair of earrings well that's it for now I hope you've enjoyed this making a bracelet with a simple loop thanks again for stopping by I'm Gail Nettles and see you later bye